Too spooky. It's Halloween. This is Matt from Crunch Moo. Hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween. It's been a uh, it's been an interesting day, so to speak. Um, so Tucker's playing Slender uh, for the first time in a year, so that's a nice callback. I had to think, you know, what could I possibly counter his Slender video with? And you know what? I found one of the scariest games ever made. Actually, one of the scariest levels ever made. Go to hell, Omo Chow, you stupid motherfucker. Okay, here we go. Omo Chow's out of the way. Um, this is Pumpkin Hill, and all, look at this, look at this ghost, this is absolutely piss, pants, shittingly, fucking, whatever I'm trying to say, it's terrifying, it's terrifying, and this is post comic. look at this, oh my god, it scares me just watching it, holy shit, I gotta, I gotta take a breath, folks, this is intense shit, and, and the thing is, Sonic Adventure 2 is not a scary game, so the fact that this kind of horrific level is in a Sonic the Hedgehog game is beyond me. I mean, this puts this puts Slender, this puts Five Nights at Freddy's, this puts PT, this puts any horror game you can ever think of to shame, all right? And it, it's a damn shame, too, because this was a great game, except for this one level. I don't know what they were thinking doing this. You know, I gotta say, the only reason I'm playing it here for you today is two things. One, it's Halloween. And, you know, what better way to get into the Halloween spirit than, than being scared? I mean, honestly, let, let's be real here. And three, uh, no, I'm sorry, two, that was only one reason beforehand. Uh, two, the second reason, is the music. Because if it wasn't for the song that, that they chose, it's a masterful uh, collection of, of musical sounds. Um, honestly, if it wasn't for this song, there would be no reason to even try to play this level, let alone actually do it. I mean, just look at, look at the backgrounds. The, the pumpkins are staring at you, and that now I just flew into one. There's a tank on top of a horrifying pumpkin, and Sega just lost their damn minds here. I don't know what they were thinking when they came up with this. You know, they, they thought, oh, we put the, the fans through through a lot with the, the Sega Saturn. You know what? Let's give them Sonic Adventure 1 and the Dreamcast. That's not enough. Let's not only give them the sequel to Sonic Adventure 1, which is a very well-received well game back then, let's horrify them. Honestly, it's just, uh, it, it's intense. And, and, and not only that, you have to look for things, too. If, if it was one of the Sonic levels, you could just breeze right past this, but it's not one of the Sonic levels. It is a Knuckles level, and the only thing that could be worse than a Knuckles level in Sonic Adventure 2 is a Tails level. Let me tell you that. If it was for the Tails level, there'd be no chance I would even play this game, but uh, it's not a Tails level. And, and the little bleep bloop is going off here. That does not mean I got an achievement, that means I have found an emerald. If you haven't played Sonic Adventure 2, do so right now, but skip this level if you can. Give it to your big brother, give it to your, your parents, whatever. However old you are, it doesn't matter. You could be 30 years old. Get your parents to play this level for you. They might be the only ones who can handle it. Uh, so I have found an emerald. You'll notice that um, there are television screens or computer screens floating around. I don't know, they have satellites on top of them, so they might be a television. Uh, DirecTV is now broadcasting tips for Knuckles. Uh, he's finding these tips around and they each give you kind of a guideline on where to go. Uh, you'll see here that uh, when it blinks green it means that I am kind of close. When it blinks yellow it means I am very close. And when it blinks, blinks red, well you're pretty much right on top of it and if you don't see it by now you are probably... Mm, I was gonna say something very offensive. Uh, but you know what I was gonna say. You're, you're, you're mentally deficient. That's what I was gonna say. Um, so I just took the rocket to Pumpkin Mountain, which is not something I needed to do, and there's a reason why I'm doing post commentary. It's a little bit less scary uh, when you do post. Also, I have the uh, the setup of I don't know, it's just not it's not set up for for live commentary for this kind of game because I, I move my 360 out of out of uh, pretty much the house and I I put it outside. It's in the uh, driveway. Because uh, there's really no need to have it with the Xbox One, but I did decide to keep it there in the driveway, and surprisingly has not been stolen yet. I, honestly, I can't believe it, but it gave me an opportunity to do this for you today. Um, I recorded this at about, what time is it? It's uh, 9.19 now. I recorded, by the way, I got my second emerald if you haven't been watching the video. It's 9.19 on Halloween. Um, uh, I didn't go as anything this year. I kind of just went as a zombie victim. Um... I mean, it's the easiest thing to do. It really has takes no effort whatsoever. Uh, Pumpkin Mountain is the clue again, by the way. I was just there for the first one, so they're really giving me the runaround, aren't they? Sega just really wants to make you tortured, and, and this is nothing compared to the hard mode on this level, honestly. And uh, in, all, in all seriousness, the hard level mode on this level does give me the shits. Uh, it, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. But um, this is the easy mode. Not even the easy mode. This is the normal mode. So there's not like giant 40 foot tall ghosts you know, running at you. There's um, not a bevy of tanks everywhere you go. The tanks aren't the scary part. The ghosts are pretty fucked up though. I don't know. They're from somebody's nightmares or something. Uh, whoever created Sonic was it Yuji Nako? Was somebody else? I mean, he 
he really has a depraved mind. I've never seen anything that depraved since uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and that's a pretty depraved fucking show. I'll tell you that right now. It's an awesome show, though. You should watch it. Uh, Always Sunny should actually do a, um, you know, they should do an episode about this game. It's, uh, it, it would totally fit the, uh, the humor they're going for. Um, I'm having trouble finding. There we go. It's blinking now. I'm about to have the last emerald. And you know, this isn't a long video. I just, honestly, uh, I wouldn't even do commentary on this if I truly wanted to scare you. And there's my last emerald. But, you know, it's Halloween. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you've had a great Halloween, by the way. Um, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to find words to say here. But, um, I got a good rank. It's a good Halloween. And I hope you guys have a great night. So, enjoy yourselves. Wait, what is this? What's going on here? Hard mode? No. No! Oh my god, no! No! That's it. We're done here. We're done. Bye.